The number one team in our News 4 Jack Super 10 poll this week is Fleming Island. The Eagles were undefeated during the regular season last year, and they've started this year 4-0. In fact, the last loss for Fleming Island, two years ago this week. Tonight, they travel to face an Oak Leaf team with at least half a dozen players who will be signing with a school on signing day this year. Terrific matchup. To Oak Leaf we go. Fleming Island in the white, Oak Leaf in the black. Second half, 16-7, Fleming Island in the lead. They take nine minutes off the third quarter clock to stretch the lead to 22-7. Ty Kokach with the touchdown. And here come the Knights. Walter Simmons to Kobe Bates. Bates leaves everybody behind him. On his way to the 21-yard line, or rather a 21-yard touchdown. 22-14, Fleming Island still leading. Fourth quarter, Simmons going to Bates again, this time on the slant. Good for a first down into Golden Eagles territory. Later in the drive, Simmons back to pass, and he would find Terrence Anthony on the crossing route. We'll come back here, and he is in for the touchdown after making a man miss. 22-20, Fleming Island with two minutes to play. The Knights go for two, and the tie. And Simmons would throw it for Marcus Anthony, who goes down and gets it. That set the game to overtime, and Oakleaf wins it in OT, handing Fleming Island their first loss of the year, 29-22. Bishop Kenny at Orange Park. There's OP in the gray. Bishop Kenny's wearing the white. Opening drive, Crusaders fourth and one from the nine. Baylor Newsom walks it in for the touchdown. 7-0 Kenny. On the ensuing Kenny possession, at the OP 13, Bradley Miller on the keeper. And he fools everybody. He's in for the touchdown, 14-3 Kenny. Second quarter now. Raiders getting going. Nolan Chambers takes it from the 29, and he finds Pater 14 to 11. Kenny just before half. OP would strike again. Newsom takes it, or rather, Kenny would strike again. Newsom takes it in 21 to 11 at that point, but Orange Park rallies for the win 38 35. Raiders with the victory. Let's check out some other scores from around the area on our Football Friday scoreboard, starting with. First Coast getting a 33-0 win over Uli. Last week they beat West Nassau. They stay in county and to get the shutout win tonight. Menendez, a big win in a high-scoring affair against Inglewood. Clay puts up 50 in a win over West Nassau. Ridgeview with a win in Clay County, topping Middleburg 34-27. And elsewhere, Wolfson falling at home to Father Lopez, while Bradford beats Hawthorne by three at home. Let's check in now on uh, some of the other games. Columbia shut out. What's been a rough year for Lake City, Columbia. Madison County, a 12 0 win. Providence, a 49 27 victory over St. Joseph today. Big win for the Stallions there. Mark Brunel's team goes on the road and will bring back a victory. 35 0 the shutout for Episcopal, while St. Augustine handled Palm Coast in a 20 point win. Elsewhere, Eagles View, a 26-20 victor over Cedar Creek Christian. And Swanee puts it on Palatka with a 47-0 shutout tonight. Now let's check on the action in Georgia, including the city rivalry in Brunswick. Let's head back to the scoreboard as we see Brunswick holding on to beat Glen Academy by three. Coffee uh, by the first win in that one, uh, in that series in a while. Coffee with a 37-13 victory over Camden County, that one a final. Camden County, a rough one. Ware County handles Benedictine, no problem there, while Charlton County goes on the road and beats Clinch County 18-14. Be sure to download the Football Friday app, the best way to keep up to date on scores from around the area. You can also watch highlights of our Game of the Week. Also a great way to stay up to date as the playoffs approach. We now know the matchups. The Football Friday app for Apple or Android. Just search WJXT Football Friday. Coming up, we bring you our play of the night. It's a highlight you won't want to miss. Stick around. There's more Football Friday straight ahead.